Okay, looks good. So welcome everybody. I'm finally back. And we're gonna play some Pokemon Stadium today. This kind of came out, and I wanted to play it. And because we also switch games here, yeah, let the intro play. Man, it's been forever since I've seen this. It might be a little loud, hang on. Look at those friends. Oh. Yeah, it's been such a long time since I played Stadium 1. But anyways, as I was just saying here, I've been gone for a few days. Since we switched games, I gotta, like, re-explain this. Um, a few days ago, I fainted, and I hit my head, and I spent some time in the hospital, and I've been at home healing up, and I finally wanted to do a little bit of streaming. So, just explaining where I've been for a few days, because a lot of people get their news about my goings-on through uh, watching my streams, or later on YouTube. Everything looks so blurry. I know it's because it's an N64 game, but my memories of this screen always looked so much more clear. Here's a place where you can unwind from battles. Cute Pokemon will join you for fun. And for Stadium, I feel like this could be something fun to just kind of do every once in a while. We don't have to like finish it like finish it super quickly or anything like that. Maybe I can have Dylan over to play free battle. But there's Gym Leader Castle. This is something I used to watch my mom play when I was really young. Like she would just mess around with the Pokemon trying to get further in it, and I didn't understand what the hell was going on. I never played too much of regular stadium though. That'd be something I always would want to clear. Let's just go right to Gym Leader Castle. You can switch it up. Oh, damn, I remember this screen. The weird, like, winding little road there, and the Elite Four is in that cloud of smoke. So there's no way to use Gen 1 Pokemon from a Gen 1 game, I should say. That was poorly phrased, but you know what I'm trying to say. There's no way to, like, connect a Gen 1 playthrough data to this, so you have to use rentals only. I don't know the tier list for rental mons, but they're all... they all have consistent stats every time. Like, they don't randomize their moves, their IVs, or anything. They're always the same each time you pick them. Okay. Every Gym Leader Castle, I have to go through... I have to beat all these Pokemon trainers here, and then beat Brock at the end. Bug Boy. They call him Lad? Huh. Youngster is Lad. That's funny. No Pokemon registered. Hmm. Alright, so if anyone happens to know what's considered the best rental mons for this, feel free to let me know. Let me see here. Uh, you have access to the entire Pokedex except Mewtwo and Mew. I think I remember hearing Kadabra's good. Or was that Stadium 2? Yeah, even the three legendary birds are there. Hmm. Yeah, the way they balance is it balance it is that the further evolved the Pokemon is, the less powerful moves they give it. So you have to be careful about that. Like, uh, let me see here. Like, what does Rhydon have? Strength, Dig, Substitute, Surf. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, Rhyhorn gets Earthquake. And why does it have Thunder? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, where's Kadabra? I think he gets Psychic. That's why he's good. Uh, Abra gets Toxic, Reflect, Psychic, Seismic Toss. Kadabra gets Psybeam, Seismic Toss, Recover, and Thunder Wave. Alakazam gets Confusion. Yeah, this is the greatest demonstration. Abra gets Psychic, Psybeam, and then Confusion. Man. Remember, we're working with Gen 1, so they have a special stat, no special defense. This is gonna be interesting. Since I... There was a series I did a long time ago of messing around with rental mons on uh, Stadium 2. I only did a little bit of it, but to this day I still have people telling me they want me to continue. And I'll tell you what, I'll do this, and when Stadium 2 drops on Switch Online, I'll play it again. Run the beginning. Yeah, Kinesis is garbage. Why does it have Dig? You're right. What does Alakazam have Dig for? This is so dumb. Uh, Kadabra gets Psybeam. Seismic Toss will always do 50. The HP values are... 
Not enough for seismic toss to be worth it. Oh boy. The speed is 133, 148. I guess I'll take this. Thunder Wave at least can uh, paralyze someone if I have to send it out. Polyrath gets Surf, but its special is kind of Garbo. Hypnosis will never hit. Mimic is why. Hydro Pump. Earth. Why do you have Earthquake? Your attack is higher, at least. Polywag gets Blizzard. I wonder if going for Freeze would be a fun strategy. I'll check Dragoolman. Hang on. Okay. Starmie, Jinx, Arnakuno, Moltres, Cloyster, and Kabutops are considered good for this game. Okay. Um... That's not too bad. Wait, Slam? Oh. Oh, boy. Surf is the only thing this thing can do. You may as well just use a water type or stab. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dragonair gets Thunderbolt and Fire Blast. Oh, God. Moltres gets Fire Blast. The downside is the accuracy for this thing. Thunder, Sky Attack. I remember as a kid, one of the things my, uh, I, I'd watch my mom do when playing this, like she, when she played video games a long, long time ago, um, she would just tackle the Gym Leader Castle, and she would just pick Zapdos and Raichu and spam Thunder and be really annoyed that they wouldn't hit. So that's where I get that from. Does Raichu have Thunder or am I misremembering? Let me check. Yeah, it's got Thunder. And Mega Kick, I remember that, too. It's garbage. Its attack is one point higher. Pikachu got Thunderbolt. No abilities, so no Intimidate on Arbok or anything like that. What about... You, you can pick Metapod. You can pick Caterpie. Mega Drain, Psychic. Surprised, it, surprised Butterfree has stats. Or moves, I should say, but no stats. Beedrill has Twin Needle and Mega Drain. Eh. I already don't know what to pick because this is terrible. What about Needle King? Double Kick, Poison Sting. Oh, it has Earthquake! Um, that might not be so bad, actually. Take that. You got Toxic and Thunder. Hang on, let me check the ones you listed, Lorelei. Uh,. Jolteon gets Thunderbolt. Take a look at that. What does Gengar have? Oh, Gengar gets Thunderbolt as well. Uh, no, no ghost moves to use, though, except Confuse Ray. That's really high special, damn. Hypnosis Dream Eater combo is annoying to have to use. You get Psychic and Thunderbolt. Your speed and special might actually be good enough to use this, and you have Self-Destruct. Hauntur doesn't seem that bad, but... okay. Do the Krabby and Kingler have Guillotine? Ooh, your special is so bad. Krabby's attack is freaking high. Crab Hammer... Ugh. Has Bide. Hang on. Jinx was good. Let me see. Psychic, Ice Punch... They're special, so yeah, that... Oh, both of those are Stab as well. Let me see. Uh, Jinx's model was edited for this, right? I know they did the same thing, and then they released uh, Pokemon Snap on Virtual Console for the first time. Let me see. Take Jinx. Yeah, she's purple now in this. Okay, yeah. Jolteon, Thunder, Double Kick, Pin Missile. It's got Toxic. Do you got Surf? Vaporeon with Surf ain't too bad. As far as, like, uh... It has some ice. You know, I'll take Vaporeon. Why not? Flareon is Fluff. Also has Toxic. Kabutops has Hydro Pump. So oh, I see. The idea is to sweep with Kabutops. It has good defense. Its special is just below 100. Um, Hydro Pump's good enough to take out the water... The, the rock ground types, if needed. 
But there's only two rock moves in Gen 1, Rock Throw and Rock Slide, so it's not getting good stab off that. Uh, what about Aerodactyl? Fly, Reflect. Okay, Fly is good. Or what? It's the best stab fly move you can have. Let me see here. Uh, Articuno. Just straight Ice Beam. You know what? I'll try Articuno. And one more pick. What do you think? I, I don't know what po They're obviously going to have a wide variety of Pokemon, because this is a stadium. He's not going to have all rock types. I think... Did you say Cloyster was good? Got the super high defense. Dodrio, Magneton. Also has Thunder. No steel typing, though. Bro? Hmm. Surf on Vaporeon will hit harder. I took the Kadabra. Okay. Audio good? Is it too loud? Too quiet? Parasect has Spore, but not much else. Uh, does anything have Rap? Did Dragonair have it? I remember Dragonair being annoying for Rap on the opponent. No, I don't have it there. Oh yeah, Drill Peck technically exists, but only Firo could get it in Gen 1, right? High Jump Kick. Now, the thing about High Jump Kick is that Stadium is actually the only Gen 1 game where they fix the recoil. In actual Gen 1, if you miss with High Jump Kick, it only does one damage of recoil for some reason. So I think you take the intended damage in this, so it's not as safe to just go for. Focus Energy is fixed in Stadium, right? I, I can't remember if they actually fixed that for Stadium. Uh... Because Focus Energy in Vanilla Gen 1, you know what happens is um, it makes critical hit, hit rate, uh, critical hits less likely, not more likely like it's supposed to. It's fixed? Okay, good. But I still wouldn't take that. Ugh, the punch is Hitmonchan. You're such a joke, Mon. Okay, one more. Who's good? Who else is good right now? It's not Onyx, right? Screech and Explosion. <laughs> As Rock Slide, at least. What about another Psychic type? They're always good. Oh, Hypnosis Dream Eater. Gen 1 counter is so bad, it only works off of normal and, uh... Right, Starmie. That was the one I was trying to think of. Maybe doubling up on water wouldn't be too bad. Starmie is low? No, it's higher up. Oh, I passed it. Bubble Beam, Thunder, Try Attack, Minimize. Tri-Attack doesn't have a secondary effect in Gen 1, right? I think? I guess having... It's got really good speed. Decent defense and specials. Yeah, it's kind of a monster in Gen 1, ain't it? Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna go with this. We're finally at the game! I prepared all that time for this. Wow. I'm really worried that with the right stick, I'm not going to get the correct C button inputs. Uh, I guess I should be fine to sweep with Kadabra and Jinx. Okay. Man, this takes me back. I haven't thought about this arena in forever. Okay, Metapi. Okay, I'm really worried I'm going to input a wrong move. I Can I set the D-pad to be the C button inputs instead? Is there a way to do that? Let's see. I'm worried I'm going to press up on the uh, the right stick, and it's going to read it as left or right. Man, I remember that clown vomit Psybeam, too. If you hold R2, you can use the save uh, face buttons. Oh, yeah, I remember. Um, the Zelda games had that. Okay. So... 
Now the face buttons work as the C buttons. Okay, it works. Thank you. Thank you. I remember I had to do that to play some songs in Ocarina Majora, because when I did the Zelda marathon for that, those games. Speaking of which, I want to get started on Skyward Sword sometime in the near future. There we go. What will the next Pokemon be? Everyone's level 5, or 50. Oh, it's Sabuna! How will the type difference affect that? There we go. Uh, that. It hides the move list in case you're playing, like, two-player controller in free battle. Which is a little weird. Critical hit. One shot Kakuna. Yeah, I'm also lo really looking forward to playing Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> That'll be fun. I took a bit of a break after finishing the Oracle games. Play started some other stuff. Psybeam's the top one, all, I need all that matters. So, do I have to win all four battles in a row, or do I have, like, a certain amount of chances? I remember that the announcer in this game, he refers to Raichu as Raichu, and it stood out to me. Yeah, we did it. Continue. You can earn more chances by doing perfect battles. Does perfect battle mean just don't, like, faint? Okay. All right. Bulby, Audi, Ekansi, Parisi, Gloomy, Zubati. The naming conventions is, uh, fun, ain't it? Okay. Yeah, I can check my Pokemon stats there if I want. Still mostly poison types. They're all, actually, no, wait, they're all poison type. Okay, so Kadabra should be fine. And... Jinx and Articuno to Ice Beam, the grass stuff, I guess. Let's do it. Here's the second adversary. The challenger needs to stay calm. Kadabra. Victory. Bloom's noise sounds weird and funky. Let's do it. No perfect battles in gym mode. You have to refight all trainers if you lose. I guess we better get settled in. What will the trainer do now? It's all coming back to me. Seeing my mom, like, miss a thunder, and then us being real upset that she had to restart from the beginning of the gym. God golly. I have a very distinct memory of her playing this when we were in the middle of moving sometime. I think, like, she had ordered pizza or something. Like, this was so long ago. I don't even think Dylan would be able to remember it. What will the I was in elementary school. I'm not sure if Dylan had even started, like, preschool yet. That's how long it was. Oh, long ago it was. Right. And they got the funky stadium colors. The yeah, add pizza. And they were doing some battle. My mom was doing some battle. I think the opponent had a Venusaur. There's also no 1 in 256 glitch in this game, right? They also fixed that, I want to say. I win. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. I can see. Eekins! Eekins! Okay. The battle has become one sided. Get him with that spoon. How's that? Wow, that's an effective hit. Yeah. Gone. It's a one-hit wonder. Look at that. And there goes the battle. I mentioned uh, Raichu, but I didn't know he called it Ekans. <laughs> we did it. There we go. Yeah, doesn't Blizzard have, like, 90 accuracy, or is that- was that Gen 1 Japanese only? Oh, look, actual ground types. It's the dude- it's the dude who says the light years thing. Um, hang on. Check Vaporeon here. 
Torque and Roar. Yeah, Vaporeon would be perfect to sweep this. Along with, um, Jinx, too, maybe? It doesn't really matter, I suppose. Let's take Starmie. It's the gym's third opponent. The gym leader is waiting right after this. The Angry Moles. All right. Let's hit that surf animation. Oops, I'm holding the wrong R button. Rock slide. You're fast. Here's the first boat. Okay, oh, missed. missed. Yep, it's rock slide, all right. Ride that surf. Look at him ride. Whoa, looks like a bad Pokemon choice. That was quick. Down already. They're so angry. It's interesting to hear the like the original like 3D interpretations of some of the models, as well as like the the sound effects for the cries. Whereas like in modern 3D Pokemon games, they kind of just like go along with that. Like, what's the term here? They go along with like the like the Game Boy sound font sometimes in a weird way. I'm playing this on Switch Online, yeah. I don't have a way to... I actually have it on N64. I can't capture an N64 with stuff I have. There we go. Plus, po uh, Pokemon Stadium games on emulator are pretty infamous for being a little crusty. Like, textures don't load in properly, so sometimes the floor will just be a black void. It's another reason I was looking forward to this getting added, so I can finally, like, not have to worry about those issues. Bury them all. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Baby Mole is destroyed. Oh, Pidgeant. Pigeon. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. Oops, the I meant to hit Aurora Beam, but it's fine. There's the attack. So the N64 version has lag? I don't remember. So is this version no loading faster? That'd be helpful. I did it. Even if the early battles are chumps, can still be kind of annoying to uh, have to refight everything. Let's go beat Brock. Surf's animation is considerably slower on N64. Okay, they didn't even give him Golem. Okay. So I should be safe to spam Surf again. Except in, in uh, Omanite and Kabuto, it'll be a neutral attack. Hmm. That's fine, though. Take Vaporeon. And just keep going with... Just use Jinx and Starmie, I guess. Hang on, actually, what do I have for Nido King? They could probably Earthquake Nido King, so yeah, Jinx and Starmie will be fine as backup. The next battle is against Pewter's gym leader, Rock. How will the challenger battle Rock Rock Hard Team? Rock Hard Team? Whoa. Hey, this old remix. Every gym leader castle has its own, like, uh, original, like, arena, right? Stadium 2 really stepped it up a bit, and I'm looking forward to playing that, too. My Vaporeon sparkling, but it's not shiny. Oh, it's so cute. You want to just give it a boop on the head. What now? Fire spin. The was oh wait, no, this is Gen One Fire Spin. Oh, all right. Move. Hang on, everybody. What a fury Get comfy. Attack. I can't even quick attack out of it. The is still yeah, when he says taken down on the word go, he just has so much energy on that. It's a light hit. So you know how rap is annoying in Gen One. In Stadium, it makes you want to just, like, gouge your own eyes out. 
The attack still going on. Yeah, I like that. You hear how he emphasized that, uh, that still? Like, you could hear the eye roll in that tone. battle continues. <laughs> Let's go. The attack still continues. I can switch out, but I just want to sweep him with Surf for crying out loud. Come on, did it not end yet? Has it not ended yet? No. Is he just faster than me? He's only Volpix. There we go. Wait, no, of course he's faster than me. I get the I can't move message first otherwise. That's fine. All right, let me switch. Starmie should be able to outspeed it, I hope. Uh, wrong button. Yeah, these menus are like, so you're, if you're playing two-player, you can't, your opponent can't see what you're pressing. All right, try attack is pretty worthless. Yeah, quick attack. That was not a decent hit. Wait, what? I didn't press that. How did I? How did I hit minimize? Oh, I must have. Oh well. Bubble beam now. What? It did it again. Is it not reading the R2 input and it's accepting X as, as down C? It must be. Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna clamp down these buttons. Make sure it works this time. How are you still hitting me? I used two minima. There we go. There we go. Maybe I wasn't holding down the button right. There's a big difference in HP. You going for the AI knows what it's doing here. He knows it can only really quick attack me. Cause it knows. Wait. Is the is the AI choosing its move after I choose mine, like a, a actual Gen One? Cause if it's if it knows it's faster, it probably would prioritize Fire Spin. Oh god. Oh, it's on it. Look at that onyx. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one sided. Yes, it has been. That's why it keeps picking quick attack. I win. Stadium cheats. Yeah, all right. I did it. I beat Brock. Computer gym battle clear. Receive the key from Brock and open Misty's tower. Okay. Like the swimmer face. He's like, oh yeah, I'm so happy to be here. Fisher. All right, let's do another gym. All right, so now I probably need some electric types on the team. Uh, should I go for Raichu? Raichu's fast. Hang on. Hmm. Don't want to take Needle King here. Hang on. Hang on, I'll take a look at those. Let me see what we got. Toxic, Wing Attack. This attack is good, but what's... Slash is always a guaranteed crit, that's right, because gen how Gen 1 works, basically. Yeah, I could try Scyther. Hmm. Electrode gets Thunder and Toxic. Damn, it's fast. I'm gonna miss those attacks all the time, and Swift is physical here. Gengar gets Thunderbolt, so that's why it'd be good, yeah. And... Let me see here. Can we use the Raichu? 
maybe. It's got good all around there. Can always flash to stall. What did Jolteon have? Oh yeah, I mean, Pen Missile and Double Kick can just basically be ignored. That's really fast and really good special. Okay. I'm not gonna end up using the Ra Raichu at this point. Why does Muck have Thunder? Let me see. Many Toxic users, yeah. Will I need to do that? I guess I could use Toxic and then just spam Thunder, I don't know. Hmm. What about the last one? What if I need a variety Pokemon for the, the Grunts? I could pick Jinx again for that. Hang on. Yeah, Jinx got the Stab, Psychic, and Ice Punch. That's really freaking good. Its defense is garbage, though, but probably might tank a water hit. I need that Stab, Psychic. I don't know. Let's try this. The other five should be fine. <laughs> so I could just put Magikarp there if I wanted. He's got a Magikarp. He's got a Squirtle. A Squirtish. A Wartortish. A Wallywish. A Seekish. A Carpish. And a Coolish. Okay. Gengar had Thunderbolt, so it'll be more consistent. But can it sweep? I mean, it's Poliwag and Squirtle, so... Just do this. Here's the first opponent of this gym series. A oh, there's water in this one. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it's the res it reskin gym, but instead of being a bottomless pit, there's water. That's cool. All right. Why is hypnosis in purple? Like the text. Let's deal with that. Got a crit. That was quick. Down already. As as the castle this goes on, the grunts get a bit Martin. more difficult. I don't remember them being this piss easy at the start. Oh, Is it gonna spam horn drill? Wait, I'm a ghost. I can't do that. I'm the only ghost. So sorry. Oh yeah, seeking and being the only Gen 1 Mon with Waterfall. And it got a crit. A crit could really ruin your, your day in this game, that's for sure. Give me a drink. My head's doing just fine. Obviously I can still feel the frickin' wound on the back there, but I'm good. I was kind of just, the last couple days, I was just kind of getting a little bit bored sitting around. Like, I had Resident Evil 4 to just keep playing, and it was fun, but eventually my back just kind of gets sick of uh, sitting in the chair all day. I didn't sleep very well for a bit, though. Because, yeah, it's on the back of my head where the cut was, I can't lay down very well, and it was annoying to sleep for a bit. There we go. Purple text means it has a move it shouldn't have, but I think it's bugged with rental mons because there are many that have purple moves they should have, like Jinx and Gengar. Wait, 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 so purple's supposed to mark an illegal move? That is so funny. <laughs> that is so funny, man. Cool. Waterfall is Seeking exclusive. Only uh, Seeking had it in Gen 1, and then they made it in HM in Gen 2, so it became more common. That Pidgey is red. That Volt, Volt is purple. Let's see. CC. Jolteon does get Pin Missile in Gen 1, I'm pretty sure, as a level up move. Wait, only the Switch version has been marking legal moves as cheating. Really? How? How does that even how does that even possibly happen? There we go. Oh no, I'm fine. I didn't get like a concussion or anything like that. It was just a cut. 
Ugh. I'm glad it wasn't worse when I fell. Cadaver might be a little annoying. There's nothing I can really do about... Yeah, I'm never going to super effective hit Cadabra in this game with rental mons. I wonder if I could just sweep with Scyther Slash. I'll try that. Uh... Gengar and Zapdos, why not? And I'm doing just fine. It was a very crappy situation to be in, of course. But, yeah, coming back today, I wanted to play Battle Network, I wanted to play this. I didn't want to just... Yeah, Slash is illegal. <laughs> that's so funny. So that's why the name is Purple. I noticed that some of the AI trainers have purple names. Is it marking their moves as illegal, too? I didn't even realize Stadium had a mechanic like that. That's so That is so funny and interesting. There we go. For whatever reason, Stadium... Some Stadium Pokemon have, like different colors, and I think it's based on, like, their nickname or something. So if you were to nickname your own Pokemon and transfer them in... Oh, that's annoying. They could ha potentially have a different, like, um... thing as well. Oops. I hit the wrong one. Oh, well. Alright. Defense greatly fell. You're not making this easy, are you, Voltorb? There we go. I knew because you would trade back from Gen 2 and Alakazam with the elemental punches to Stadium 1, and it would be marked in purple. Oh, that's interesting. Guess that makes sense. Using, I can use the illegal move. It's just trying to mark you as a cheater. Very interesting they programmed it like that. Anyways, what was I saying? I was talking about my head. Yeah, I'm good. I didn't want to just rush and uh, finish other games because because I missed a few days. It'd be really silly if after, like, having an injury, I, I wouldn't start the games I wanted to play just because I had to finish Hamtaro fast enough. We can do Hamtaro another day. That's fine. I'm really enjoying today. I did four hours of Battle Network, and it went by so quickly. I didn't even feel like it was four hours, and having a great time. There we are. Ugh, shoutouts to my mom for driving me to the ER and staying with me the whole time. What, since we're on the subject of uh, my mom today with this game. Oh, he's got an illegal move. He's marked in purple again. Okay, keep slashing. Shoutouts to mom. There we go. Ah, oh, smoke screen again. I'm at minus two for accuracy. Let's see if I can finish it. Still hit. Look at that. Did it again. There we go. I tell you, the worst, one of the worst things about this uh, injury, though, right? Because it was on my head, and they sealed the wounds. I wasn't allowed to like wash my hair or shower for a few days because I I risk like you know irritating the wound in some way. So I had to spend 48 hours with a bunch of dried blood in my hair. So that was that was fun. That was a fun situation. Fairy Mer. Okay. They end with Mer. Polymer. Meow Mer. There we go. Um. Some fighting type. A normal type. Uh, I wonder if it'd be fine to just spam Gengar at the front again. A. Okay. And you know what? Why not Electrode? Best I could do was just kind of like press a damp cloth to kind of try and wash it a bit. That's fine. Hypnosis is illegal. That's so funny though. Do that. Oh. 
No, they didn't need to cut my hair or anything to to do to deal with it. Luckily, like it was under my hair, but like closer, but like kind of like the back of my neck, I should say, where my hair wasn't really like uh, obscuring it too much. And why is it that the the Switch version detects illegal moves though? That's a very very strange thing to happen. Is it some kind of side effect of them adjusting Jinx? Because that's the only edit I know they had to make for releasing this. Oh, it's Clefairy! Alright, we're gonna kick it. How will the type difference affect that? Take out that Clefairy. Look at it trying to dance. What now? Thinks it's welcome here. Um, what's the chance? Let me see here. It hit me. There's a big difference in HP. HP. So very, very strange. I wonder if these nicknames may were funnier puns in Japanese. They probably were. Since they are kind of like wordplay. Using the same thing there. Goldmer. Oh, Sound like it said Goldie. Let's get it. One oh, it's one sided, alright. He sounds so excited when I kill that fish. That wow which just like was a half scream. He was so excited. His jaw looked like that swimmer there when he said it. Yeah, I think in the stadium mode, there's a Moltres named Moltrash. Oh, you, all those Pokemon and then just Blastoise chilling there. Blastoise and Starmie are the scary ones, of course. Um... Obviously, her Pokemon, like... These are not going to have the same moves as the rental versions, right? Like, they have their own move sets, I'm pretty sure. Um... So I guess I should probably spam Thunder and all that, shouldn't I? Hmm... Would Thunderbolt on Gengar still be good enough? Starmie probably has Psychic. Hmm... Let me check Jolteon here. Uh, wrong one. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Ah. Uh. Yeah, Thunder, good special on you. Hmm, I have good special so I can tank hits. If needed. Hmm. I wonder if I just... Yeah, I think I need to just spam Thunder now. Thunderbolt's at least consistent, so I should have Gengar on for that, but Starmie worries me. You know what? Let's Thunder spam. I'll do Zapdos and Jolteon Gengar. This is it. The battle against Misty. The oh, does she have Oko moves? So I'm sure somebody's gonna try and run that. Let's see what the challenger has in store for her. Do it. Yeah, that powerful animation. Dead. <laughs> oh, here's Starmie. Could it have Ice Beam Blizzard? Well, let's hit it. It's going T-Wave. Oh, great. And that works on Electro types here. Alright, here we go. Do I keep going with Thunder? Yeah, I should. 
All right. I hit the wrong button again. I wasn't holding down R2. Well, I have a substitute up. It's a cute little ride-on doll. That's what's on all, all the gym statues in the main games. Look at that thing. I hate you. No, I'm not gonna hit with Sky Attack. Gotta hit with Thunder. This is what my mom felt like all those years ago. I understand. The idea is to self-destruct on her Starmie for, uh, with Electrode. Oh! Okay. Does Electrode have enough attack to get away with that? I'm gonna lose Zapdos to this. I missed three Thunders in a row. There's a critical hit. Oh boy! What will All right. Pokemon be? Jolteon, then. The commands are issued. There's oh, no way I could miss Thunder a fourth time in a row, right, guys? How right? No re way I could do that. Why does Jolteon have a butt? There's no way I could miss it a fourth time in a row. No way! That's right. That's right. That's right! Take it down with one hit! There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. Oh, it's Blastoise! I should probably just use Toxic on it to guarantee it'll die. Let's get it. And Toxic has 100% accuracy in Gen 1, don't it? Oh, that gooey purple stuff that from Toxic. I remember that. Oh. What a furious battle. Hmm. Alright then. I don't have Levitate on Gengar in this game. May as well see pin missiles animation. Good thing I had a Zapdos. <laughs> Good thing. He can do whatever he wants. Because now I'm getting him. I got toxic. Is he doing it again? I really wish I didn't use Zapdos first. He's gonna kill me, but whatever. What now? Oh, it's another miss! Savage attack! Alright, Jolteon down. Oh, is it down and out? Um, do you still take poison damage? We're down to one Pokemon aside. Uh-oh. Guess you don't. The it worked like that in gel actual Gen 1 games, too. Oh, Main series, I should say. Just one yeah, okay, you avoid poison now. damage. You kill. Right Does anyone know if Hyper Beam still avoids recharge on kill? Should be able to Thunderbolt kill, I hope. Alright, it's dead. Oh, it's it does? Hey, there we go. I did it. Misty defeated. Would you look at that? We did it again. Moomin's win.
Received a key from Misty and opened Surge's Tower. Okay, I beat two gym leader castles. What's he got? The rocker, the sailor, the old man. Let me try other mode, though. I could play the Game Boy Tower. Darn, how do I get this to work? Well, yes, it doesn't. You got a regular stadium mode. Let me see here. Oh, that Jinx had to be added there too, didn't it? Poke Cup. Petite Cup. With many cute Pokemon, don't let your guard. You will be tested. Prime Cup. Without level restrictions, let's all let it all hang out. Okay, so the rental mons are obviously different for this mode as well. Okay, I appreciate that, Laurel. I don't worry, but we're just messing around today. So, does po are, are the Poke Cup rental Pokemon the same ones as the um, uh, the same ones from Gym Leader Castle? It's fine. Don't worry. We're just messing around. I don't expect to fully win. Prime Cup's the, the super hard one. The level restrictions don't matter, because I'll just... Everything will be the same level as the rental mons. Different? Okay. Pika Cup. Open to lowest level Pokemon. So, Pika Cup is low level, but Petite Cup is unevolved, right? Am I understanding this correctly? Hmm... Yes, all right. Let me just try the regular one. Oh, right! You go through the different levels of this. The jam, there's a lot to it. Okay, Pokeball. Let me see here. Yeah, that's definitely a different... a different one there. Now, that's the same one there. Hang on, is it the same? What's some other mons I looked at? Okay, that this one is definitely different. So yeah, some of them are the same, some of them are different rentals. Well, it's prime here. I guess I may as well pick whatever sounds good and give this a try. Then we can go back to the castle. No toxic on you. You're fast. Specials like that though. What about Lapras? Ice Beam. Why do you have Solar Beam? No Surf. Sand Attack and Quick Attack. Ugh. No Aurora Beam this time. Why not? Oh! Thunderbolt now! That's actually good. Better? Try that. Dragoomin. Wait, Dragon Rage. Um... HP ranges at 50 is gonna be... You got Dragon Rage as well. Yeah, it's not gonna one-shot anything, that's for sure. Fire Blast, Ice Beam. Ice Beam is good. Hmm. Rock moves are not common. There's only two of them now, and they, they're both inaccurate, so I can put that on too. Yeah, just take the legendaries. Take the legendaries, good idea. Why do you have Fire Blast? Why do you have Bide? What is wrong with you? Get out of here. Psychic and Ice Punch, but in different spots. Yeah, Jinx seems to be pretty solid whenever you, whenever she shows up. Surf and Thunder. Probably take that over Vaporeon, actually. Hmm. But I have to back out all the way back. Uh. Waterfall, Ice Beam. Rock Slide, Dizzy Punch, all those special moves on you, you don't need that. Thunderbolt, Hypnosis, Nightshade. Mega Drain, Psychic, Confused Ray. Got Ice Beam on you. That high defense. I already got a Psychic type with Jinx. Hmm. Got Leech Seed with you. 
Gen 1 Leech Seed's not as good as, uh, later, later though, that's for sure. I wanna, well, maybe check Scyther. Scyther could be good again. It's got Slash. Yeah, why not? We're just messing around. Let's see if I can beat the Pokeball Cup. Oh, that's a lot of opponents. So if I win... Oh! Scyther would actually be a good lead here. Can slash the poison types and wing attack them. Monly hit Chopma. What's Chopma mean? Chop my balls. Got him. There you go. And now no one has to post it in the comments. I saved us all. You're welcome. There we go. Take Scyther. Hmm. Jinx. And... Ar not Arnakuno is going to be so unnecessary. Whatever. Scyther can sweep this. Wing attack the fighting types slash the poison types. Look at the energy in that audience back there. Wow, Slash and Leer are illegal. I must be cheating. It'd be a problem if using cheated Pokemon, like, actually didn't let you win. They'd have to fix that so quickly. Righty chop, it's normal, fool. What will the trainer do now? A decent hit! What a furious battle! Hit him. How that? Super effective! Oh! Is this down and out? Chop must down. What will the next Pokemon be? All right, let's see if he's gonna go for the kick. What can he even do to a bug flying? Mega kick. What now? It missed. Change your name to Monly Hit. There we go. Scyther doing just fine here. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. What do you got? Keyman. No, Keyman announcer. Get it right, jeez. The battle has become one side. I have no idea how brutal how, like how brutal does does uh, the AI teams become in like Master Ball rank? Is it even possible to do that with rentals? I'm sure it's Pokemon. There has to be like a billion playthroughs of people speedrunning it with rentals. There we go. It is. There we go. Oh yeah, I, I forget about round two. There's a lot in this game that I just never really unlocked because I wasn't very good at it when it was like when I had it. Perfect. Extra continue. I guess the continues here do help. Oh right, I get a badge for each one of these. Is Stadium 2 rentals way harder to win with? Okay, so half his team is electric, the other half is that. Ball base, Odd Ace, P Case, Magnum Mace, Voltace, Sproutace. God, the names get so annoying to read. Um, I don't have... Hmm. I could just slash and wing attack again with Scyther. Take Jinx as well. Uh... Let's just surf on you. I don't have Psychic. Oh, well. Take Articuno. It don't matter. What kind of battle can we expect to see? I don't think Scyther is really going to need to worry much about getting... Oh, wow. It's got green and purple magnets. That's cool. Slash him. He ain't Steel-type. Steel-types don't exist yet. Here's the first move. Nail the 
weak spot. It's going for Screech. If they're gonna hit me with anything, it's not gonna be a physical attack. So we're good. We're good. We're good! Hit him. Yeah! Look at that audience cheer. I'm sure on a blurry CRT you could not you could barely like see how like uh that audience looked. It's just a texture of like of garbled crap. You can't even make out a single person there. I never, like, seen anything related to round two. Like, do you have to do all the Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, Master Ball, like, runs again, but all of them are much harder than, like, round one Master Ball? Damn. How do you unlock Mewtwo for rental? The remaining Pokemon there we go. Three to one. The I know you can do that. Do you have to beat side. round two or all of round one only? Wait a Super effective. There we go. Ah! Mewtwo can be cheesed. You get Mew in round two, not Mewtwo. Oh. So Mewtwo is, is transfer only. That's annoying. Is that even a picture of people or a picture of like fruits from the grocery store? Maybe. And there goes the battle. I did it! I won. Let me go. Does Mew even do anything as a rental? Like, what moves do they give it? I guess it would change depending on what uh, cup you're in. Alright, second guy done. Whoa, it's the juggler. He's got a really long face. Alright. Dude, just... <laughs> Drowsy, Machoke, Ghastly, Geodude. What are these names? They sound so weird and wrong. It's not even like... Just put a little thing in the middle of their names. That's all they did. Alright. Geodude's the only one that means Scyther wouldn't be able to sweep it again. I suppose I could lead with Jinx this time. Hmm. Let me see here. Kuno. Hmm. Let's put Vaporeon on. Jinx should be enough. The upcoming battles look promising. We're into round three. The lips. All right, Ice Punch should be good enough for you. You're Psychic type. It's not like I'm getting uh, super effective damage off you anyway. Here's the first move. I did not mean to hit Psychic. How do I keep doing that? Oh, it hit. Welcome to Gen 1 Sleep. Enjoy your stay in hell. Here we go. Ice Punch. How is Ice Punch illegal on Jinx? Go home, Stadium. You're drunk. J There's no way in hell I just woke up turn 1 from Gen 1 Sleep. There is no way in hell that just happened. No way in hell that just happened. Damn, that's a bitch slap right there. I'm the one playing. I'm not allowed to be that lucky. The gods are like, they're up to something. They're up to something right now, I'm telling you. Geodude. Give him a slap. That slap looks so silly. Everyone get excited. The number of reserve Pokemon. Oh, it's got 
All right. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. And it was Psychic, and we're good. Ga Why is Ghastly gigantic? A psychic, blast. Super effective. psychic is strong. Die. Alright. Sleep in Stadium was changed to one to three turns. Oh, thank you. So, you're telling me that in Gen 1, they realized that sleep was so annoying that they changed it just for Stadium. That is so good. Okay. All right. Ice Punch being illegal was probably an RBY. Elemental Punches were exclusive to Hitmonchan. Well, that's not true. Electabuzz could have Thunder Punch and Magmar could have Fire Punch. But it should be counting it as legal anyway, which is weird. Like, I'm just wondering what they edited in the game to make it do that. I believe those were the only other Pokemon that could get those moves, right? It was just Hitmonchan. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think Jinx is the only other user of Ice Punch aside from Hitmonchan. Yeah, I think it is. But you, it's easy to miss Jinx in Gen 1 since the only way to get one is through that dude in Cerulean you trade with. Yudi, Horsity, Kabuti, Q-Body, Ridey, Sheldy. These are so stupid, I hate it. Um, what should I do here? Ground, half ground, half, uh, that. Could just put Starmie and use Surf and Thunder, and then watch it miss and cry. Okay, Starmie. Hmm. I guess Jinx. Vaporeon, I suppose. Well, not- the other half isn't all ground. One, one of them's ground, the other two are rock. You know what I'm trying to say. Do it. What is this theme? Do, 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 do. Okay, it's like the Rocket uh, Base Remix. Man, Stadium got some cool remixes. Here it comes. Thunder! Whoa! Looks like All right, I did it. I hope they send out the other other groups. Well, Kabuto is also water type, so I guess. Anyways, its back opens up like that. It's weird. Kill it with Surf. It's right on. It legally can't live this. So sorry, you're dead. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. Yes, there is. Oh, it's Shelter. All right, now we see if I can kill it with Thunder. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one sided. How's that? Oh, you ain't living that, Sheldy. Oh, it's a one -hit um. Wonder. Critical hits are still based on speed in Gen 1, right? So that means Starmie's a good pick, as it also can just get more critical hits more often. I should probably check Persian as well and check its, uh... If it has Slash or something, because it's fast. I used it in Kaizo specifically. Why does the Rainbow Badge look like that? That's not what the Rainbow Badge looks like. The Rainbow Badge is rainbow-colored. Okay. Is that the Chandler? Oh, sorry, medium. Okay. I wonder if I could... Hmm. Could Psychic Spam with Jinx again. And Ice Punch uh, the Butterfree if it comes out as well. I almost said Zubat, but I'd Psychic that as well. Alright. So pick that, and if needed, there we go. Jinx should be able to do it just fine, though. We're in the last half of the tournament. Things will get white hot. Smooch. Remember that Butterfree and Emerald Rogue the other day? 
Well, that wasn't the other day. That was my last stream before I had my uh, uh, fall. The one that was like spamming quiver dance. Ooh, Gen 1 Frozen. It's over. Butter Frey. I love Freeze in Gen 1. Wait. Since they edited Sleep, did they edit Freeze at all in, in this game? Kind of curious. Okay, they switch. But the only way to get out of Freeze in Gen 1, I've mentioned like a billion videos by this point. What now? Um, is to get hit by a fire move, right? It's permanent here. Damn. That is so evil. And Blizzard, Ice Punch, Ice Beam, they all have the same freeze rate, correct? 10%? And Tri Attack can't freeze in this gen. Which just confuses me, because I always assumed that was the point of Tri-Attack from the beginning, but it wasn't until Gen 2 that it could do the three things. I feel like going for Freeze is probably, like, the best possible cheese. If you get that 10% Freeze, like, you win. That, that Pokémon cannot, literally cannot win now. How me- I, I wonder- I know a lot of people like to watch, uh... Speed runs a stadium. There's, uh, that's pretty popular. I think Dylan watches some of that as well. But um, <laughs> is that actually a like a good strategy? Pick Pokemon like Jinx for their good Psychic, but just spam Ice Ice Punch to freeze or something. That'd be funny. Yeah, Blizzard had a 30% freeze rate in Red and Green. They realized they made Blizzard so broken in Gen 1 that when they were localizing the game, they, they made changes to it. Because it was too strong. There was no reason to not use Blizzard for everything. Freeze, no, but Jinx is a popular rental. I can see why. Like, Psychic and Ice Punch, both stab options as well. Fantastic there. I like it. Oh, it's the Lollipop guy. I know... It's not a lollipop, but I call it that because it looks funny. Mander Cha? Bone Koo? Le Squirt? It's called Le Squirt? Huh? His nickname is Le Squirt. I'm sorry, but that's so freaking funny to me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. I should actually make a team, uh, pick my team now. Uh, spamming Surf would would kill four Mons. Could Thunder the Squirt. <laughs> yeah, I could send in Starmie the start. Um, probably would be fine with Vaporeon as well. And I guess, I guess Jinx can be a pocket pick if needed at the end. The field is thinning out. We're in for I don't have a. Ch I didn't pick a Charizard, yo yo. How do I do that? There we go. No Charizards here. He better send out the Squirt. I'm sorry, but that's amazing. That's the best nickname we've seen all all day. The Shrew is down. Shrew needs a hug. This is a wild one from the word go. Bone, oh, bone cool. Bone Q. How will the type difference affect the battle? Oh, I'll show you how the type difference will affect the battle. That's how really that interesting to know that sleep has changed just for stadium. Because no, sleep is so stupid. It's one of the most obnoxious status effects ever. I mean, it's still obnoxious in Gen 2, but at least in Gen 2 they added the uh, ability to use your move the turn you wake up. But it's really weird that they gave it a nerf in this game, too. Look at that thing. Cataract. Hit it with Surf. The Sleep Claws originated in Stadium. Um, that's where you can't put two Pokemon on the same team to sleep, right? 
like is that programmed into this game like if i do that do they do i automatically lose genuinely curious because i'm not familiar with like stadium rule sets i just remember what play uh, freaking out here doing the gym leader castle really i automatically lose if i do that that's cool there's no side effects i can do where i can make that happen accidentally so that's cool you won't auto lose the sleep will just fail your sleep move will be guaranteed to miss if another Pokemon's already asleep. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a better way to do it. Okay. Chat delay. I thought you were I thought you were answering the my other question about losing. Okay. Nudenza, Farfenza, Executenza, Slopenza, Abrenza, Geotenza. When your extended family gets together. Um, I suppose I could Psychic and Ice Punch my way through this. And Articuno for Ice Beam backup, maybe. Freeze Claws is also a thing. Oh, okay. So I can't, so the secondary effect of freezing will never go off if one Pokemon's already frozen. Interesting. I really did not know any of this until today. I did not realize, like, Stadium was a lot more smart with trying to balance the game. I guess, yeah, that makes my question about spam and freeze completely irrelevant. But if I faint the frozen Pokemon then it has a chance of working, right? And I'm allowed to freeze and sleep one Pokemon, I think. It's not the one I wanted to fight. Okay. Great. It's, I mean, Slowpoke can't do a whole lot. Maybe I shouldn't switch and just go with it anyway. Spam Psychic anyway. A lot of people made, like, their, those that? rules based on stuff from uh, Stadium. That's interesting to know. What's yeah, he's that? spamming Psychic, so it's fine. It do much I don't want to just switch into uh -oh. something Furious and take a bunch of damage. It's only Slowpoke, so we'll do this. What's this? Special, Special yeah. fell. Yeah, that's right. You don't just lose special defense, you lose your special attack as well when that happens, so... Man, Psychic's even stronger in Gen 1. There we go. Just keep going. Oh, it's a 30% chance for the drop? Damn. That's why Amnesia is so busted in Gen 1. Increasing, like, sharply increasing your uh, special stat just does so much off one move. Alright, we got eggs. Yeah, using Amnesia in Gen 1 is like using Calm Mind twice. It's ridiculous how good it is. I did it. Perfect again. All right, we're at the final one. Okay. Who is the final opponent? The old man. He's got a ditto? How's he gonna do with the ditto? Hmm. I wonder. Is Ditto, like, prevalent on late-game teams? Because I can imagine someone just putting Magikarp on their team specifically to counter Ditto, and that'd be so funny. Badrill. It's not called Beedrill, it's Badrill. Ditto. Drainy. Magmite. Cell. Polgon. Hmm... Quite a variety here. Hmm. What I want it to switch into. Nah, too unreliable. Okay. Hmm. 
Jinx is always a good all overall coverage. Hmm. I wonder if it'd be fine to let it transform into Scyther if it comes out. Because I could wing attack with my own Scyther, and if I somehow die from a wing a crit wing attack from the Ditto itself, I could just send out Jinx and Ice Punch it. But it'd be fast. That's right. Hang on. R button to check. Speed is 127. Oops. Wrong, wrong button. Just barely. Jinx is slower. Speed is 102. Stormy, 137. How about I do Jinx? Uh, Stormy. Scyther. Do that. This is it! The final battle! And what music is this? Okay, this is the perfect way to start. I don't even know if the Ditto's gonna come out. I'm getting slapped. Gratini is- oh, jeez! The whole poor thing just went stiff! I think the AI does cheat, because in Gen 1, uh, uh, AI Pokemon would use their move after your move is already selected. Like, the AI doesn't pick a move at the start of the round, it picks it to react after yours. There we go. Just go and surf. Just hit it with Psychic again and we're gold. Let's win. Is it down and out? There we go. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Is the Ditto? No, it's oh, Porygon. I don't know what Porygon really can do in Gen 1, other than be there, I guess. What's this? Oh, is this the self-building remix? Or am I something else? Okay, try attack stab for it, I guess. Okay. Damn, he just got deleted like a me like a Mega Man virus. It's just the gym leader theme. Thought I heard bits of the self building in there. So I did a perfect run of all of them. Heck yeah. Oh, we got a trophy. Look at that. That's cute. Poke cup, pokeball, clear. A. Hey. Teddy's cheer, all right. Even though this is Gen One. Hall of Fame. How do I put stuff in there again? Is this only when you beat Gym Leader Castle? Poke cup, pokeball, cleared. And you literally cannot use this without the Game Boy attachment, I'm pretty sure. I'm kind of surprised they don't have a little message when you start up the game being like, no, you can't do the Game Boy stuff. Go back to the castle. Give this a go. Okay, so we got Surge. There we go. Who's good for that? 
Imagine stuff with ground moves, rock slide, dig. Needle King did have Earthquake, did it not? Golem also has dig. I'm too high up here, or too low. Oh yeah, Needle King could sweep these uh, ground types. Or electro types, what am I saying? What? I want to say, why does that poison sting as poison coverage? And then I remembered it's Gen 1. What the hell else do you have other than acid? Ice Beam. This is the Switch version. It got released a few days ago, yeah. Nido King gets Earthquake. Everyone else gets Dig. Um, I know I should probably take Jinx. Jinx is just a good one to, like, have. There we go. Fire Blast. Hmm. Hmm. I know the gym trainers barely use the, the proper types, but still, Earthquake is still good. Sweep when someone has a chunk of them. Jinx got, yeah, they're in different spots. That's gonna throw me off over and over. This Jinx is three points faster than the Poke Cup one. Starmie, Bubble Beam Thunder, Minimize. Why Diglett over Doug Trio? How is that more optimal? Is it a meme pick? Oh, it has Earthquake and Fissure. <laughs> is that the plan? Spam Fissure? Its attack is 84, its speed is 123. It might be just a spam fissure. I imagine if, like, um, the speedrun categories, like, if there's a speedrun just for one gym leader castle, you people would just pick, like, a fissure mon and just YOLO it. Um. And Electro types are good here, too? How, though? I suppose Electrode... Electrode being, like, one of the fastest out of all the rentals and getting toxic is pretty funny. So you could set that up if you really need to. Um... You know what I could do if I do need the toxic? I think I will take Doug Trio instead. I know Diglett gets Earthquake, but... I could also stall with Dig if I use that. I don't know. If it comes to that, I don't think so. And Tauros is good. Tauros has good stats, yeah, it gets fast. Is strength really worth it for it? I guess with Tail Up as well. And do I need Jolteon and Zapdos? Not really. No Volt Absorb. Thunder, Sky Attack. I'll take Jolteon. I'll, tr I'll try these. Sailor's got a bunch of water types. This is why we picked electric types, apparently. There we go. I mean, alternatively, Duck Lore, Spee Lore, Shell Lore, Poke Lore, Poke Lore, Chop Lore. Let me see... Could just Jolteon, Thunder Spam. Or I could just spam Psychic with Jinx, honestly. That'd be more consistent and almost faster. Except for the Slowpoke, of course. You know what? Alright, fine. I'll, I'll Jolteon, Jinx, and just for the hell of it, Electrode. Here comes the first opponent. Is Earthquake on Diglett really that much better? It just does that more more freaking damage. I thought wait, it's Gen 1. Yeah, the power is the same for Dig. That's true. Yeah, that's right. It's Gen 1. Dig has 100 power and Earthquake has 100 power for I don't know why they were the same power in uh Gen 1, but they were. I hit Toxic, god damn it. Jolteon just vomits on him. What? Bro! You can't do that! 
going down. All right then. Wow, they're down. They're both down. I knew I should have picked Gengar. One from the word go. All right. Let's pick Electrode. It doesn't matter that I picked the, the wrong move. <laughs> oh, it's Electrode. Oh, it's Slowpoke. I knew Slowpoke would be coming out. How will the type difference affect that? So yeah, in the context of using Dig over Earthquake, if I do end up toxic with someone else, I get the extra turn. Oh, I missed. Because in Gen 1, if you're underground with Dig, you don't, you can't get hurt by Earthquake. That was added in later gens, right? Or is someone going to tell me Stadium added that first and I'm going to be like, God damn it. The edge of the arena is more steel looking now. You did it. You did, kid. Take it down with one hit. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. Can Swift hit uh, opponents underground? That's a good question. Is it? Was it fixed to do that or fixed to not to do that? The tenth battle continues. Gotta correct myself before YouTube comments call me dumb. Here it comes. Thunder. Oh, you ain't living, little son. You dead. Run! It's a one-hit wonder. Ah. Uh. And there goes the battle. I did it. I haven't checked what Snorlax's moves are. Snorlax is probably a good pick I should be looking at. Jinx is surprisingly... This is the most I've used a Jinx in my life. Here we go. I don't think I even tried, like, a Purity Forest attempt with it yet. Okay, here's Electro-types and Porygon. So, this one could definitely spam Nidoking. Ace, Pikace, Buzzace, Voltace... Electrace, Magnamace. There we go. Okay. Needle King. A trio. And you know what for the hell of it? I'll take I'll, I'll take Tauros. How about that? How about that? The yeah, the downside of Jinx is its uh lack of defense. Of course you started with that. It's probably gonna use Ice Beam or Blizzard now. does do that. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have had Jinx just for a Porygon switch in. <laughs> would double... No, not double kick do more. Earthquake stab would do more. Yeah, the 69. Just one more. What's it gonna do? Psybeam. Okay, I was worried. That's not gonna kill. No, he made the bad choice. Trust me. No levitate in this game. No one's floating over this crap. Would you look at that? We won again. What will the next Pokemon be? So, what's considered much harder? The Stadium 2 Gym Leader Castle? Or, uh, Stadium 1? Greenish. Because it's been so long since I've last even looked at Gen 1, uh, Stadium. Stadium 2 is way harder by far. Okay. How's that? No! This Pokemon looks wrong! And there goes that. Two is a nightmare. We won't play that soon. I don't know when it's getting released, but I feel like Stadium's the type of game I can just kind of turn on once in a while and play. I don't need to, like, commit to finishing it super fast or anything. It released on Switch Online, so I figured it'd be good to just do... Went for takedown. I know, I wasn't saying Magnemite get has Levitate. Or Porygon. I was just saying in general, Levitate's not in this game. So Gengar can be Earthquaked. Well, it loses Levitate later because it was too good, but you know what I mean. Rentals in 2 can suck, yeah. 
everyone's kind of silently hoping they release like uh, red and blue for the Game Boy Switch Online and let you port your Pokemon over to this, but I feel like if they were gonna do that, they would love to, they would be waving it in our faces that it's coming soon or like next year or something or eventually. I don't think they're gonna bother doing it. Oh, I could Earthquake sweep this team. Hota, Growth, uh, Nairan, Nidon, Char, Char, uh, Charter, Charlion, <laughs> Charlion, Charlion just sounds funny to me. Like, just the name Charlie and Leon. Okay. I know using rentals is its fun challenge on its own. It's just like a lot of stadiums features are designed around using your Pokemon from the actual, like, Game Boy games. So it'll be fun to, like, it, it's just more content being able to do that. Um, I guess Doug Trio is back up, and why the hell not? How about Tauros? It's the gym's third opponent. The gym leader is waiting right after this. Let's do it. Needle King seems like a good rental mon. Needle King's already a good, like, mon in general. Also, look at that Charmander. It's basically shiny with that color scheme. It's a little yellowish. Getting Stab Earthquake is super good here. Oh, he's dizzy! He's a little friend. Hota. Onita? Why do you say it like that? Why do you say it like that? That's weird. Honita. What now? That horse looked like it was falling apart. He's about to ragdoll on me. How's that? No! Critical hit. Pokemon looks wrong. Why? Take it down with one hit. He can't believe that horse There's is dead. In the number of preserved Pokemon. Getting decently far. I don't remember the, the Goomba trainers being oh, like this. Here comes Charlie on. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The Let's get him. Has become one sight. Savage attack. Super effective. And there it goes. Gone. It's a one hit wonder. And there goes the battle. King does it again. They're easy now. Just wait. Oh boy. We'll see when we get there. Old man is dead. Now it's just Surge. Major Bob himself. Okay. I see no reason not to spam uh, Nido King and Doug Trio again. And. Hmm. Okay. Jinx has the special. I could just put her as the emergency backup, but whatever. Here we go. Here he is, Lieutenant Surge, the leader of Vermillion Gym and the commander of Electric Pokemon. The challenger better Whoa. take the battle Pokemon with caution. That Voltorb's legal. Oh, give me a break, Surge. The bear hit. Wow! Going down! This again? Hmm? This is a wild one from the word go. Is he gonna send an electrode and do it again? Oh, it's Raichu! Hey, it's it Raichu! Take up for lost ground. How will the type difference affect that? Raichu can't really hurt me, so I'm good. You have Surf? Right, that's Surf! That, that, the stadium did that first? Super effective! Are you kidding me? Is it down and out? Stadium was before yellow version, right? What will the next Pokemon be? Well, damn. Ow. Oh my god. Oh, it's Jake. All right then. The Pokemon are entirely different types. Combatants face each other. Let's go on body slam. Don't get to paralyze. What now? This is not going very well. This is not going very well. What's that? The special bat is down. 
All right, specials down. Would that be enough to kill him if I hit again? Thanks for the sub there, friend. Appreciate it. I'm rested. Don't worry. I'm good. What's this? Heavy damage. Oh, I actually got it. Come on. What'll it do? Kill. Major damage. Oh! Not good. Both Pokemon are exhausted. Can Doug Trio outspeed Raichu? I don't actually know. How was I supposed to know it had Surf? I thought, like, that wasn't a thing until Yellow Version came out. And even then, it was just a bonus thing, right? Wait a second. Now, isn't there, like, a special Pikachu that gets Surf? In Stadium 1, or was that Stadium 2? Oh, so technically it's it's legal, but I hate it. It's one Pokemon against two now. Alright, let's hope I outspeed it. I don't think I am though. Oh, no, I did. Wait, what? Why did he try to body slam me? Huh? Oh, What a furious battle! Wait a second. Is it because my defense stat is weaker? Or what? Oh, the Amnesia, Psyduck, and Surfing Pikachu are for this game. Okay. Technically, a Pikachu can ha and Raichu can have Surf. Technically, but I hate it. Alright, I got this now. It's special drop. That's why the AI went to Body Slam. You're right. You're right. I guess that makes sense. Anyway, I won. Clutch Doug Trio. Hey, bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Another castle done. I kind of want to try one of the other, like, uh, cups as well. Like, little cup or something. That's an excuse to see different mons. Receive the key from Surge to open Erica's tower. She got green hair. I kind of dig it. All right, it's another one down. Yeah, I got. I've cleared just this so far. Lowest level and Petite Cup is unevolved. Let me check this here. Blue panels, qualifying Pokemon, 45, enter with 6, choose 3, level 25 than that, maximum 3 Pokemon, total level, total 80. Okay. And so, th this only really applies if you're doing this- wait, there's a max height and weight? Unevolved only. No two Pokemon asleep or frozen. There it is. If one Pokemon falls asleep, none of the others can be put to sleep. The same goes for freezing. It's possible to have one Pokemon asleep. Damn! That is so interesting. It's actually, like, started here. Mew can attend. Mew may only be used in Jimlinger Castle, Prime Cup, and Free Battle. Okay. No self-destruct with last Pokemon? Oh. This is to stop people from, uh, scumming by just, like, causing a tie. Damn, they thought of that, too. They... Stadium devs put more thought into this than I ever have for anything competitive Pokemon-related. Mew can't attend. Yeah, not Mew isn't allowed. It's just... No, it can't come here. No, no, sorry. You're not invited. Go home. Sorry, sweetie. You're not allowed here. Gonna continue for a perfect match. All right. Let's have a look here. So who's considered good for a Petite Cup? I mean, I, I, I may as well call it Little Cup, because that's what it is. It's the first iteration of it, they just called here. Should I pick Caterpie? Who's good? Charmander Friend? It's got Fire Blast. You got Dig. That is a 100 power move. Unironically, I think it might be good here. 
Abra, your special's at 69. Confuse Ray, you have Thunder. Hmm. Voltorb. Got quite a variety there. Got Ditto. I'm gonna do that. Double Edge on Eevee. And that's the end of the list. Very limited pool of mons to choose from. Uh, anyone know off the top of their heads who's go considered good for Little Cup rentals? Uh, Ember. Not Flamethrower, at least. Damn, that's rude. I feel like... Hang on. Dig being 100 power is good enough. Slow, but good enough. Self-destruct, also dig, but you're slow as hell. Speed's important. Staryu? Let me just take a look at that. Wait, is Staryu not here? No, I think it's too tall. A fairy. Bubble Beam's the best it got. Hmm. Is Ranata actually good, or are you memeing? Hyper Fang! It has Dig 2. Why does it have Bubble Beam? <laughs> That's so random. I think I'm gonna sneeze. Hang on a second. Okay, I'm good. I got that out of my system. Um, I guess Bubble Beam is actually coverage if you fight Geodude. <laughs> I guess. Um, I'm not doing a randomizer to determine my picks right now. Um, remind me what Hyperfang's accuracy is in Gen 1 again. Because that could be pretty damn strong. Astley had what? Mega Drain. That's good for Omanite and Kabuto. Nightshade. Hmm, yeah, that could actually... It's not gonna kill anything one hit, but... Yeah, I'll try it. Shelter has self-destruct and ice beam, but you don't have uh, ice type yet, so you don't even get the stab off that. Reflect an egg bomb. Orphan has fire blast. Horsey, ice beam, bubble beam. It's a good base water type to take in. Got toxic on you. Maybe check Squirtle, or the Squirt. You got Toxic too, little Squirtle? Bulbasaur has Solar Beam. I was hoping someone would have, um... Dratini's got Fire Blast and Thunder, and Rap. Oh, it has Rap. Yeah, I should take that. This might be a bit difficult to do. I'm not gonna pick Dino. Krabby's got Guillotine and Swords Dance. Huh. Bad special, though. It's gonna die. Surf is basically... You only want to use it against Geodude. It's not gonna do no damage. Um... Who else is here? Damn, I was hoping Slash or something. I don't need special coverage on frickin' Meowth. <laughs> it's not good. Metronome is... Fun. Oh, maybe I should. Maybe I should pick Clefairy and just Metronome. Why does Jiggly have Psychic? I'm sure Metronome will help me. Try attack is Stab enough, but... Poison Sting, Rock Slide, Dig, you're slow. Clefairy is also slow as shit. I don't want to do that. Machop has Fire Blast, okay. Hmm. Let me see. Zubat? It's got Confuse Ray and Toxic, but it'll probably die a lot pretty easily. Did Abra have Psychic? Let me check. No, it has Psy Wave. Is it Psy Wave? Hang on. How does Psy Wave work again? I don't actually remember. It's fast. 
can do a Thunder Wave and then Metronome for the memes. Charmander gets Fire Blast and pretty much not much else. Goldeen's get Surf. Please tell me Goldeen's not the best freaking attacker for that. Side Wave bad. Toxic double kick horn drill. Hmm. This Pikachu don't get that. I need a thunder user. No one's gonna have Thunderbolt. That one not. Horsey good. Ice Beam and Bubble Beam is good enough coverage, I guess. Yeah, it's specials kinda seems a little higher than the other. Same with uh, defense. Alright, let's just give this a try. It's only round one Pokeball, so. Wait, did I get a chance to even choose Pokeball? I don't recall seeing the menu for that. Anyway. Weedly, Belzy, Eggy, Perry, Audi, Caterpie. Wait a minute. Hmm. Well, now I wish I had a fire typer or something with flying moves. I wonder if I could sweep Hyper with Hyper Fang. <laughs> Can I get away with that? Fire Blast was on Dratini, correct? Yeah, it was. Take that as backup. Ice Beam on Horsey, but they're Grass types, so they might hit me for something. What did Ghastly have again? Nightshade, Thunder, Mega Drain. Hmm. Hmm. I'll take the horsey. Let's try it. Let's get underway with Pokemon Tournament Fatigue. I got a rat. Tournament for unevolved Pokemon. Let's see how much fight the it's Weedly. Pokemon can put up. Look at this baby place. Uh oh. Looks like I got an illegal rat. Take a bite. Hyper the bear hit. Nice. I didn't catch it. Um, did someone post the power and accuracy of Gen 1 Hyperfang? This is a wild one. Because I can't I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. Audi. Unironically, in a situation like this with a limited pool of Pokemon, I actually think that having Bubble Beam as a last move slot is actually kind of decent. Because like, if I get walled by freaking uh, Geodude, I could just probably kill it with that. <laughs> Do more than dig. Uh, Hyper Fang again. Oh, I missed. Oh, the, missed. What now? the goo! 80 what? power, 90 no, accuracy. Yeah, of course I missed the 90 on my second try. It's good power and stab. Ooh, crit. Yeah, that's right. Being one of the faster mons here, I get a access to a better crit rate. Hyperfang doesn't have a boosted crit chance, did it? I don't think it did. No, okay. The eggs are the here. Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become Hyper Fang unstuck. has a chance to flinch too, yeah. What's flinch that? is Oh damn it. Oh, I missed the 90 okay. again. There's reflect. It's more resistant to physical flow. Great. Neither one is conceding an inch. What was I about to say? Flinch is pretty uncommon in Gen 1 moves. So a lot of people there, Oh my god. Damn. A lot of people, uh, kind of think flinching started in Gen 2 because of that. Okay, it's probably going to go for a grass move, so let me see here. Dratini is safe from sleep in this context, now that I know how this works. So I could probably just spam Fire Blast with Dratini now. The commands are issued. Knowing the claws does let me switch around more uh, carefully. 
Take the damage all at once, huh? Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Like the Fire Blast. Fire Blast should be 85, even in Gen 1, I think. Fire Blast! And yeah, hey, why am I not freaking surprised? What now? Do you know how many freaking high accuracy moves I've missed in this one battle? Goodness. Too many. Yeah, Rock Slide didn't have the property to make it flinch in Gen 1, but it didn't even matter because every Pokemon that could learn it is so slow, they're not making anybody flinch anyway. Dratini did it. Baby Moomin wins. Perfect. Extra, continue. Killed him. Alrighty, what the hell do I have next? A lad? Oh, he's got Ditto. That's annoying. Did I just spam the Hyper Fang again? Good work. Hmm. There's also Dig, but... Mm, and two Flying types, not really... Only super effective against Ekans, so I don't need to do that. Use the rat. Take in Dratini. Mm. I suppose Horsey. What kind of battle can yeah, let me hydrate. Do that. Begin round two. Okay. Go for Dig. 100 power on that. Spin and go underground. An intimidating glare. It had no Blue effect. To They're both being cautious here. All right, gotta get going. See you later, friend. What? Super effective. And one Fire shot, perfect. What will the next Pokemon be? Baldy. The four moves that could flinch in Gen 1 were Bite, Hyper Fang, Headbutt, and Stomp. Who could learn Headbutt in Gen 1? It was a lot more common in Gen 2, but it was not Gen 1. Hey, okay. Try Hyper Fang. Don't miss. There's the attack. Severe hit. It's going for Leech Seed. Leech Seed. There, it's a hit. Ew. Ew, is that what that looks like? What a furious battle. Can I kill him with quick attack? Don't have full confidence, honestly. Slowpoke, Seal, Drowsy, Cubone, and Snorlax got headbutt. Okay. And they're related Evos, of course, yeah. Okay. The the Thanks for some there, friend. Oh, it's ditto. Squeaky ditto. The remaining Pokemon count is okay. three to one. The battle has become one side. Yes, it has. If you're the last one, uh, hmm, can't check stats in this menu. They're staring each other down. I should be fine to just hyper fang it still. It's still. Yep, thank you, friend. Welcome. The trainer has Look how squishy the that goo is. Yeah, because Headbutt got the purpose of hitting trees in Gen 2. I could probably just kill him with a uh, quick attack now. There we go. The leech seed popping up scared me. All right, rat versus rat. Who wins? Who is King Rat? What now? 
There we go. You know me, chat. I don't like rodents, but Hamtaro is, uh, they are acceptable rodents. Damn. Quick, quick attack's power is pretty ass. Was it lower in Gen 1? I feel like with Stab, I should have did a bit more. Oh, there's the crit. So sorry. You lose. End battle indeed. We've done it again. Woman's win. Extra continue. Acquired two. Okay. Is that a super nerd? No, it's just a regular one. No, no need to panic. Ligast, Fing Cough, or Bolt, Cute Egg, Dershell, Do Geo? Whoa. Wait a second. All of these things can explode. All of these things probably will explode. Uh. How safe would it be if I sent out my lead and then swapped to Ghastly and then just did that over and over? Okay, if that's the case. Mm hmm. No way rat surviving. Diglett might be able to cheese it as well by using Dig because it's fast enough, but Ghastly gotta be taken for sure. What they're gonna do? Let's do it. Let's move. Oh, Call your bluff. Come on. Do it. There we go. Do it. Come on, bro. Do it. Oh, he already did that. Well, he gave me free turns. Hmm. I may as well confuse it. Wait, no! The AI reacts after I do my inputs. So it probably would have exploded if I didn't switch, but because I switched, it can't explode anymore. There we go. There we go. I guess I'll just Nightshade at the death now. I don't think it can really do anything to Ghastly. What now? Is the AI cheating kind of negligible for this game? I don't know. Uh -oh, it's what is this music? One doo -doo 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 -doo. It's the Game Corner theme? Yeah, I think it's a Game Corner remix. Combatants face each other. What's that? Ting. There, it's a hit. Oh, come on. This is the luckiest confusion I've ever had in my life. Normally, the, I confuse the opponent, and then it never does anything. Hear the Hall of Fame in here, too? Okay. Dude, Geo. So if I switch to Horsey, it'll probably be able to explode on it anyway, so... I, can, I have Mega Drain. I, I don't know why I have it on Ghastly, but I guess it works in this situation. Emergency Geodude coverage. Because Rhyhorn's not allowed in Little Cup here. Yeah. Ugeo's got the tongue. The or Bolt. Yeah, they can't explode because I'm literally a ghost type. I'm the only Pokemon actually immune to explosion and self-destruct in this 
Um, can't Sonic Boom either. I guess I just Nightshade it and win a few times. Does it not have any other options? Because he... I don't think it's going to be able to do anything with that. What'll it do? Switching to Ghastly probably just got me the free continue for the perfect game. Fireworks are flying in this battle. Are they flying all right? I don't think... I don't think Voltorb can do anything. It can't blow up on me. It can't Sonic Boom me. What's that? And even it has an electric move, uh, Screech won't affect that. So all don't come across as, a uh, special. A face each other. <laughs> no, it gave up. What's this? A Pokemon feeling it. No, we're feeling it all right. How's that? There, it's a hit. Bada bing. I did it! Pop, 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 pop. What a dork trying to explosion me. Almost the halfway point. Ahoy, sailor! That is definitely a sailor's uh, loadout there. Okay. Hmm. Spielor. I've already seen a Spiro named Spielor. Could... Hang on. Teeny had Thunder as well. Could just spam Pikachu Thunder. If I spam Ghastly with Thunder, the Machops not, also can't do anything to me. Spiro could just probably peck. Krabby has attack, but terrible special, so all its water moves are just garbage. It's not gonna... He's not gonna use the Magikarp. How is that actually, um... Is there anything specific that determines what the AI chooses for its three Pokémon? Because if that's true, I wonder if it's possible to put a throwaway Pokémon, like, on your team to influence the AI. Or is it just completely random, it picks three at complete chance? There we go. Take Ghastly. Pikachu. Kind of interested to know how they did this because they put a lot more effort into this game than I actually uh, had any idea about until today. This is a baby version of the gym leader theme. Oh, kids, get out your xylophones. Should I just try going for thunder? Wow, he gave up. He had to switch. Ooh, if this thunder hits, I, I, I can claim it's the hardest read ever. God, I am a god of predicting the switch, aren't I, chat? Agree with me. Laugh at my jokes. Do it. <laughs> Man, I wish Ghastly also had Psychic. That'd be so busted. I'm awesome? Thank you, I know. Thunder again. What now? Alright, kill him with a nightshade. <laughs> he has no moves! What a furious battle! Kill. Nightshade! Ashley seems pretty good for Little Cup. But if the Gen 1 AI knew I was thundering, why would it sack Spiro? I don't know, maybe it was banking on the fact that Thunder would miss. Pretty safe gamble. The AI doesn't cheat here, after all? Or what? I know it does in the main series, uh, Red and Blue. It's very rare that they cheat. And there goes the 
What do you mean? So the AI can cheat, but it doesn't most of the time. World record speed run for 100% uses Ghastly, so it must be good. All right, well, that's good then. Pokemon Stadium can be such an annoying game to get working nowadays, so I wonder if the Switch Online will get more people into it. Although apparently they might have to have a separate category because people are telling me that uh, this version has none of the N64 lag. Growl, growl, meow, meow, jig, jig, poly, poly, q, q, ab, ab. Okay. Um, quite a variety here. Mm, I'm not fully confident I could hyperfang my way through all of that. Ghastly be good again, unless that ab ab has psychic. A B A B. Yeah, there's no rain in Gen One. There's no there's no weather effects, so you can't just use that to spam thunder. It's yeah, this one's pretty quite well rounded, isn't it? Spamming Dig would be fine. Poly Poly would be the only one that could really kill Diglet with a super effective hit, huh? Could always switch to uh, Dratini in that case, or Horsey. Dratini's got Thunder, so yeah, put Dratini in second, and Ghastly's been doing pretty good. I guess I'll put you on third. We're in the last half of the tournament. Things will get quite hot. Begin All right, babies, five. let's go. Didn't have any flyers there. The AI would switch for Dig, of course. Sand attack is illegal on uh, Diglett, apparently. He's trying to double slap me. What will the trainer do Did you now? see the purpose in that Jigglypuff's oh, eyes when it ran for me? They're both being cautious here. There's the attack. The bear hit. You don't live. What now? Good God. Did you slap me while wearing the Infinity Gauntlet? There's some meat in that slap. There we go. It's burrowed underground again. Oops, that's a man. I like how he even has voice lines to acknowledge I did something again. Dig this. There, <laughs> Dig this? He says that too? Damn. A lot of voice lines in this game. What will the next Pokemon be? Oh, it's all right, here comes the Poly Poly. Send out your teeny. That mole so tiny. All right, is he gonna go for a Bubble Beam? Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Pretty much only water moves I'm gonna see here is Bubble Beam and uh, Surf. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Thunder! Uh-oh! I did not anticipate this. I really need this to hit now. Okay, that was very good. I got a hit and I got the crit. That's the- that's all my Pokemon luck for the year right there. It's Ab Ab. Okay, you got special. Can I get the rap? No, Abra's fast. What am I thinking? Oh. Does rap even work on substitutes? Yeah, I spray him with Silly String. Okay. I mean, I have to keep using Rap, don't I? No, it's not- we're not locked into Rap. The substitute took the damage, so he's free from it. Damn, that's annoying. They're staring each other down. The attack is still oh, no, okay. I'm surprised it lets me even... ...check the thing. The battle continues. Locked in, okay. The attack still going on. The back of my head's a little bit itchy right now, but obviously I can't, like, 
scratch where, near around where the wound is. There we go. I love Gen 1 rap. Obviously, like, rap is supposed to be like a Pokemon, like, wrapping them with, like, tentacles or, like, they're or coiling around them. But in the context of stadium animations, they had to make it something like sh spitting silly string on them. Oh. Oh, this is gonna be- oh, this is annoying. Who runs Substitute Abra? There we go. Also, funnily enough, did you know that Teleport actually has a fully programmed animation in Stadium? But it's literally impossible to use because doesn't do anything in trainer battles. Same with, um... Same with Roar and Whirlwind. Like, in Gen 1, Whirlwind and Roar only worked on Wild Encounters. They didn't work in trainer battles until Gen 2. So they're functionally useless in Stadium. Okay, it's dead. I got my perfect. Teleport does something in modern Pokemon games in battle, right? I don't remember. I think it has negative priority. It, it lets you switch? I don't know. Alright, five out of eight done. Not bad. The teacup battle six. He's got Mons. All right. Hmm. Squirtant. Chant. Charmant. Zooster. Okay. Hmm. Is he gonna fly in type? Two flying types, actually. I can't just spam a uh, dig. It makes it really likely he can just, like, switch and, and dodge that. Dratini is the MVP, yeah? I'm gonna go with that. Hmm. Your special is 41. 6. Take Ghastly. As for the rest, I'm wondering, is Rattata just too fragile for this? Hmm. It's fast, but I'm not sure. Well, I'll take the Pikachu. Someone horsey getting walled by the Squirtle if it comes down to it. But I should be fine. What do we got? Okay. Is it gonna go underground? Hang on. Oh, this is the this thing cannot hit my other mons for sure. It's gonna be faster than me for sure. See if I can hit with. Oh, now I wish I had the horsey. It, it used growl. Okay. okay. Wait, why are you level twenty six? You're supposed to be twenty five. I thought their levels would only increase if I was using anything from my, um, like, uh, cartridge. Wait, I fought a level 30 before? I did not notice, to be honest. Damn, I didn't realize that. Who was the level 30 I fought? <laughs> I genuinely didn't see. Rap time. What's that? It was the execute. Oh, I missed. Oh no. The intense battle continues. Oh, that's not good. Contact All right. Face each other. It's going for scratch. A decent hit. Who would be faster than Diglett, Pikachu or Ghastly? Fire blast! 
It came down to it. Okay, good. It's dead. Oh, all it takes is one Pokemon to throw a wrench in your plans. That's for sure. Okay. It might kill me in one hit. Just hit it with T-Wave. Uh-oh, it's going for cut. Couldn't even kill. Sorry, Charmander friend's gotta go. Oops, all paralyzed. Go for thunder. Thunder. What now? Good hit. Ah, uh, barely any damage on that. Oh, what's that? Yeah, it's a hit. Well, I don't get my perfect anymore, but whatever. Apparently, getting that horsey would have been a damn good idea for this battle, after all. It's level 27. Ghastly should be fine here. Oh, it's Ghastly! The Pokemon are entirely different. All right. Well, I'm still winning, aren't I? Okay, you're paralyzed. Do I really not trust the thunder to hit? It probably is just safest to use Nightshade twice. What's it doing? What? Okay. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, now it definitely cheated there. You can't tell me it did not just cheat. Wait, what? Oh, Nightshade hits normal types in Gen 1. Never mind. I thought... Hmm. It didn't. I thought it was switching to a normal type because it read my Nightshade. I don't know. Huh. I thought Nightshade couldn't do that. I guess that was a later change. But well, whatever. It just seemed really random to switch Charmander there. Oh, I missed. I wonder if the AI still thought that Nightshade couldn't hit it because it's typing, though. Like... Is there, like, good AI in Stadium 1 that can be exploited like the main series? Oh. Like, is a Pokemon with agility gonna spam it on a poison type? That sort of thing? It seems to only be leering. I don't think it can hurt me. Let's go for three misses in a row. No, okay. There we go. Don't think so? There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. There's nothing left in reserve. Charmance is here. Stock is two to one. Just the kill it with the double nightshade now. What now? Does Charmander not have a fire move to try and hit me? A decent hit. It wouldn't surprise me if the AI had some exploits that could be based around, like, the ghost types. Because there's only one ghost family, and ghost type just getting that immunity to all the normal types could probably make something go a little screwy. Because they probably weren't thinking too hard about that when there's literally only one family that's ghost type. And while one family, it's also dragon as well, but that's not less of an issue. Even the only dragon move doesn't even have dragon type applied to it. So it can't be super effective. Two left. Yeah, he, that Charmander did have Ember. I don't know why it didn't go for it. Hey, classic glass. Hey. Okay. Puffet. Clefaris. Eviet. Volus. All right, then. Hmm. Um... Ghastly could Mega Drain the Kabutops if it comes out. And Eevee, Clefairy, and Puff aren't gonna do much to Ghastly. Yeah, Ghastly MVP here again. As for the rest... Eh, Dratini's always good. Hmm... 
Who should I pick for third? I don't know who'd be great here. Maybe just Diglett? Kabuto is a cute Pokemon. Yeah, cute Pokemon, the rock beetle thing. Probably just Diglett, yeah. I don't think the third pick really matters that much, to be honest. But spamming Dig ball fast could probably finish something off. This is it, the semi-final! No one wants to lose having come this far. All right, we're gonna kill this thing. You're gonna waggle your finger like that, I'm gonna kill you. Uh, what if it spams Metronome and gets, like, Fissure or something? That'd be funny. So I know Nightshade hits you now, but Thunder's the best I can do. Here's the first move. Does... Oh, nice, a crit. Does Thunder have a 10% chance of Paralysis or 30? I don't actually remember Paralysis chances in Gen 1, if that was very different or not. It's 10? Okay, thank you. Oh, it's fat. How will the type difference Meanwhile, that? Fire Blast gets a 30% burn chance. Yeah, they weren't thinking about a lot of stuff. That's why Blizzard had to be changed. Uh, let's just... Now. Okay. What now? Aside from Blizzard, though... Damn, I, got, I just got the paralysis on it. Uh-oh. Speaking of Blizzard... And Blizzard missed. Um, what other moves were changed from the Japanese version significantly? Because Blizzard's accuracy and freeze chance was such a huge change on that move because it was just so busted. Thanks for the resub there, friend. Appreciate it. You got your teddy emotes back. There may be no teddies in this game, but there's teddies in our hearts. Oh, it's Kabuto! Kabutis. Well, this is why I picked Ghastly. Ghastly sweet. As a child, I literally did not even understand how Pokemon stats work when I had this game. So, wow, he lived that. Surprised. Having a better understanding of Pokemon, I'm going a lot further than usual. There we go. Oh, it's level 30. That's probably how it tanked it. Yeah. Wow, mega drink. Wow, that's an effective hit. Oh, it's down. And there goes. Ghastly the sweep, and we're going to the finals. Big boss. Perfect. Extra continue acquired. Who is that? What trainer class are you? Pokemaniac? Okay. Didn't expect him to look like that. I guess based on their Gen 1 sprite. Okay. Funny how, like, in Let's Go, they <laughs> they go to, like, the weird Slowpoke cosplay. Excuse me, what is that called? Shroomania? Psymania? Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> Shroomania is funny. All right. Um, Dig's good against the two Nidos and Omanite, I guess. I mean, like, Ghastly's still good to throw out here. Except against Dratini Dratimania. Hmm. Hmm, Horsey with Ice Beam could be good there, too. Neutral on Omanite. So maybe go Ghastly, Horsey. Hmm, do I want to take Dratini? I guess. Could Thunder two of those and... Can't do much against the other Dratini. Ghastly, Horsey, what do you think, chat? What do you, who, who should be the third here? Dratini or Diglett? That's what I'm thinking about right now. Don't know which mons are going to be used. The, the Dratini is level 30 along with the Omanite there, so one of one of those is coming out, not the other. Hmm. 
Shroomania is a normal name. Uh, I can't decide. Okay, go ahead. I'm just gonna pick one and go. This is it! The final battle! Who will pass the glory Let's go. of the championship? Okay, Psymania. What if you switch to a ground type? What if you switch to the shrew? I knew it! I knew it! Ten, ten. Hey, look who just read the AI. You think I picked Thunder? No, I read that crap. I read that crap, and I got a critical hit for it. <laughs> oh, godlike read. The shrew is down. That was the only ground type. It's safe to spam Thunder now. F to Shrewmania. Mega Dream was still super effective, so... Here we go. Let's do it. Blast it. And there you go. So the last one, it's definitely either Dratini or Omanite. I hope it's Omanite. I think it would have sent out the Dratini if... Oh. It didn't pick it, the level 30 one. Also, I love that little dance it does. I forgot about that. Huh. I thought it'd be a guarantee that it would have picked a level 30 one. Look at that little dance. What now? I missed. Sometimes it's just don't do that. I'm really wondering what decides what the AI chooses. I feel like that's gotta be something the speedrunners take advantage of, too. Oh my. Two in a row. Let's go. I don't think it has any moves to hurt me. So I'm good. Seems like the AI never uses Leer. Unless it literally can't do anything else. What'll it do? Oh, okay, I can kill it with Nightshade now. What now? A little dance. It. Okay. In this Nightshade time. Hit it. Nightshade. I need to fix my headphones. Done. Oh, Alright. Probably had double kick or something. Hey, he says that with so much energy, I love it. Look at that guy, he looks like such a dork. Yeah, he's beaten. Oh. Victory stretch, indeed. Ghastly! Ugh. Horsey. I, did it do this when I beat the Poke Cup? Or Pokeball Cup? I don't recall. Look at these heroes. Dratini. Pikachu. Did I even use the Pikachu? So there's no... Oh, uh, there's no Pokeball levels for this. I just... I beat it once and that's it? Okay. Okay, so do only Prime and Poke Cup have the four different levels? Well, I got one. That's pretty good to get done. Look at that Geodude fighting the Omanite. It's gonna die from that water attack. Okay, I thought they all had their own levels, but that's alright. That wasn't too hard. Wonder how, how extreme does the uh, Petite Cup get in round two, though? I'd like to keep playing as much of this as I can. Again, this seems like the type of game that I can kind of just turn on every once in a while. And just kind of have fun. Let's try Erica's gym now. What do you think, chat? Thoughts on green-haired Erica? 
Also, the cool trainer looks that like the actual art for that sprite. I know what it's lo it looks like. That's cool. All right. Um, yo yo, could you pull up uh, Lorelai's suggestions for Erica's gym again? I'm assuming I need some kind of coverage for the other ones, but most grass types are poison anyway, so I think Jinx is another good pick by default. Uh, I passed her. Yeah, she's there. Petite Cup is the easiest one in round two. Okay. What's Mr. Mime have? Mr. Mime actually has Psychic, but I feel like you should just use Jinx in this case. Scyther got Toxic as an emergency thing, too. What's a mod I haven't looked at in here yet? Earthquake, Explosion, highest defense in the game, lowest everything else. Can Weezing do anything? It doesn't even blow up, it has Sludge, but that's the most powerful poison move in Gen 1, I think. I still haven't looked at Snorlax, you're right. Where is it? Oh, I haven't looked at Gyarados either. Oh, Gyarados gets Dragon Rage, but that's kind of eh here. I this is the worst Gyarados I've seen in my life. Thunder, Headbutt, Bide, and Rest. It, um, no, no, I'm not not feeling that one. Not feeling that, Snorlax. Yeah, only grass Pokemon in the game weak to poison is just Tangula. Let me see here. Feeling okay? Yeah, I'm feeling just fine. Uh, let's see here. Did you get that list? I just, want to, I just want to... I'm looking at stuff, but I want to know what some of the better ones for Erica's gym are. It's also see... Because it kind of sets you up for, like, some... Uh, blah. Sets you up to kind of trial and error it and make note of their Pokemon. Which is a little annoying. Rapidash has Toxic Fire Spin. Okay. Relatively fast. Is Fire Spin... No, it doesn't have perfect accuracy. So you, it's annoying as hell, but you probably could cheese that, especially if you Agility... What's it would be a good fire type for this gym? Let's see here. Moltres is probably good here too, yeah. Just the uh, fire blast is inaccurate. Anything but flamethrower? What's Chansey got? Chansey we've got special coverage, I, I guess. Fire punch. Fine, I. Guess. Let's see here. Let me see. Jinx is considered good. Articuno and Moltres together. I guess that's true. Ice Beam is... Yeah, Ice Beam's good. Not just Blizzard. Hang on. Uh, let me see here. Wait. Kabutops is good for, the, for Erica's gym? I'm assuming... Wait, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is it like to Swords Dance Sweep, I suppose? I find that very hard to believe. One grass move and your life is over. That's fine. Starmie... Yeah, Starmie's always good. If only it had Psychic here, though. But Psychic is less isn't really a weakness for anything. Hmm. I assume this is, could give just heck, give me the coverage I need for the uh, other thing. Hmm. Hang on. Cloister's got defense and some special. I mean, I always forget Spike Cannon is like a unique move for it. Clamp is also a move that like continues, right? What's Clamp's accuracy? You never really see it too much. What else can learn it aside from Cloyster? Got T-Bolt on you. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take Gengar for my last pick. Let's see. Clamp's the strongest one. 35 power instead of 15. Really? I didn't realize it had more than double power of the other uh, continuous moves. 
Probably because I don't think about clam. I'll go with this. Oh, right. Yeah, almost our family gets the spike cannon move. You're right. Okay, so now we got babies and blobs. Ratatis. That ratata is like magenta. Tuffet, Tuffet. Cubonus. Cubonus sounds funny. Hmm. Fighting coverage isn't really great in Gen 1. Like, you don't really pick a good a lot of good fighting moves. I'm assuming the Kabutops with submission was why <laughs> it was to sweep like her. But should be good enough to just spam Jinx Psychic, honestly. Let me see. And for the other stuff here. Uh, Cloyster. Eh, it doesn't really matter too much there, does it? I just want to try and sweep it. It's only the first battle anyway. I don't just take that. Okay. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Getting kind of hungry. I have been streaming for almost seven hours now. I've really been having fun today after coming back from the whole uh, head injury break. So it's been fun. I'm probably going to stop soon. Get some dinner. And I'm going to stream something tomorrow, but... Uh, there we go. I'm not worried about Mewtwo right now. I'll stream something tomorrow, and I know I'm doing something on Sunday. Dylan was going to come over later so we can continue Puppet Dance. Kill. That puff hurt me too much. There we go. And it's dead. What will the next Pokemon be? Tough at. The upgraded form is here. Oh, it might kill me now. I always bet on that 10% freeze. What now? Except not. I'd rather just do this. I was hoping a special would drop. Alright. Use T-Wave. I'll keep spamming Psychic. Uh-oh. This might hurt. Can't underestimate Stab Body Slam. Well, Gengar is not going to be able to do anything. I feel like Gengar... Is, a, is good to have on most teams, specifically because it just completely walls people that rely on normal moves. Let's see here. I don't have Nightshade on you, just Hypnosis Dream Eater for some reason. Should be able to T-bolt my way. The commands are issued. What's that? One more hit. T-Bolt probably do more than a Nightshade anyway. Oh, don't do that. That's annoying. If I lose at the end, I probably will take that Kabutops to sweep her. I imagine the speedrun strat would be involve, uh, I'm paralyzed. Having a, a Pokemon specifically to sweep the grunts is a good idea, yeah. I see the I see the plan. Like the rock type can wall the Jigglypuff's body slams or whatever. And then just like set up swords dance and kill them all with submission or something. That tough is uh not okay. Okay. Well, this is annoying with my current type. You try using Confuse, right, and switching. Oh, it's setting up Reflect. Another one was Starmie. Oh, wait. I'm not going to get super effective hits on that, either. Ugh. 
I don't trust Dream Eater to go through. Getting through paralysis just to put him to sleep and then hit Dream Eater, I may as well just... There we go. Let me just keep trying to spam Thunderbolt, I guess. It attacked itself. It can't make a move. Oh boy! No, we're not. We're not going anywhere. Interesting how it says what move they're trying to do. Like, uh, during the confusion message itself. Usually you don't get to see what they're trying to do. Until after they get through the confusion, at least. It shook off its confusion. It sucked HP. It can't do very much with that. So if I just keep spamming Thunderbolt, it'll go away. Didn't do much damage, but it's killing you. It's got them mushrooms. Critical hit, but don't matter. It's gonna live this now. Oh, no, it lived. Or it died, sorry. Misspoke. There goes the battle. Yeah, I'm actually streaming kind of late today. I went really long. I know I was going long. I didn't realize what time it was, though. All right, first lady down. Probably should have just taken that Kabutops. That smug look on the cool trainer. Okay, handful of different mons here now. None of them grass type. UD, CD, Ridey, uh, Duoity, Tanidi. Hmm. That's because I'm having fun, that's right. Starmie takes care of most of these, yeah. Starmie, Jinx, and Articuno, I guess, really. How will the gym's second opponent conduct battle? We'll need a strong effort to win. All right, now we hope that Thunder don't miss. Come on, Bears, cheer! Teddy Ursa may not be discovered yet, but he's here in our hearts. That will not hit. Super Sonic. The Damn right it didn't hit. What a furious I don't trust Try Attack to kill. I have no attack stat. How's that? There we go. Oh, is it down and out? That'll teach you for thinking Sea King's a Pokemon what you can use. Pokemon D. Oh, it's the Jonah. Pidgeotti. Got a color filter on it there. Alright, whack it with thunder and win. Quick attack's all it's got. Yeah, stadium sprite for, um, oh damn it. Not sprite, model. For Starmie is a lot more animated than you think Starmie is. You look at Starmie and you think it's a very stiff-looking Pokemon, but it's so wobbly. There, it's a hit. I kind of forget, what does the model look like in modern Pokemon games? Is it stiff or is it wobbly as well? I can't remember. Thanks for getting the sub there, friend. Oops. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. There's a difference of Pokemon left. Thank you, announcer. Oh, it's Starmie! There we the go. Count is three to one. I almost just hit minimize with a slip of my thumb there. Stiff? Okay. Oops, that's a miss. Stiff, wobbly. What's this? I don't think any of us are remembering right now then. What a furious Wagon with thunder. Hit. How's that? Super Gone. It's a one-hit wonder. It's dead. And there goes the battle. 
All right, that took significantly less time because I had a Pokemon that can actually kill things. Fainted, fainted, fainted. Full trainer next. Still don't know why Erica has green hair, but whatever. There's a Chansey there. Uh-oh. Uh... I just realized I don't really have physical moves. I have Tri-Attack! Okay, I really regret not taking that Kabutops. I under- I- In my defense, going into Erica's place with a Kabutops seemed like a very stupid idea, but I understand the logic now. A Chansey is absolutely coming out. Look at Tance. Merowance. Chanseon- Chanseance? Okay. All right, thank you for the sub there, friend. Appreciate it. Yeah, Starmie has try attack if it needs to deal with Chansey. Uh, Moltres is needed for that Parasect as well. Um, it's actually relatively safe for the most part. There's only two, like Rock Slide is the only move in the game I have to worry about for Moltres and Articuno. Does the Marowak have it? It's not going to be able to hit us with Bone Club and all that. Sky attack with them if I need to. Jinx using Psychic on uh, the two Nidos there. And Ice Punch against you is good if needed. Hang on. Do I have a... I have Thrash on Jinx for some reason if I need to hit the Chansey with it. So I'll start with Jinx. Ice Punch also works on Marowak. Yeah, Jinx counters more of this than I think. There we go. Like a tongue's annoying. I don't really have a super effective way of dealing with that. I probably should have grabbed a Toxic Mon. Clamp Aurora Beam. Do that. Gosh, I don't know if there's an optimal pick here. Take Moltres, and I guess... Starmie, I don't know. Let's just do it. Here's the third trainer battle with only the gym leader left after this. What kind uh, of, of course, you start with that Lickitung. Time to kill it. Scary Barry, gotta go down. Here's the first move. Okay. You live, damn you. Why do you have Fire Blast? Okay. But it missed. Let's do our best. Hey! Thanks for the bits, friends. Appreciate it. Flash him with Psychic. Oh, I got the crit! I was totally expecting him to live on one health there or something. What will the next Pokemon be? We heckin' doing it now. Oh, it's Nidorina. Oh yeah, we're sweeping with Psychic now. How will the type difference affect that? I'll show you. I'll show you the type difference right now. A psychic blast. Whoa, looks like a bad Pokemon show. Ooh, couldn't kill. Why do you look? So, why are you what so thing? giant? A decent hit. Like, let, let me get a look at that Why's camera. Camera made uh, Nidorino look a little large there. Kind of giant. How's that? Yeah. Critical hit. Two critical psychics. Oh, Damn. In this one battle. There's a difference in the number. Doesn't matter if I go down. There's no content. There's no continuous for perfect battles in the castle. Oh, yeah, Nidorino. I thought so. There was no way the AI would have sent out Nidorina if its other pick wasn't already, like, the other poison type. This is perfect. Another crit? Damn. Well, we did it again. Jinx wins. Hey, cool girl. That's how you can read her name. She's just cool girl. Alright, what's Erica herself got? 
Okay. And execute randomly at the end there. So, once again, Jinx is pretty good. Can Psychic and Ice Punch. Psychic would do more damage. Uh, it's more higher power, more st uh, and also stab, but I can Ice Punch, Execute, and Tangula if they come out. And the two- I could just take Moltres and Articuno as backup as well. Yeah, this one's gonna be piss easy. The chance he didn't end up coming out, yeah. The Celadon Gym Leader and a Grass Pokemon Artist. Smart strategy is the key to victory. Smart strategy, huh? You sent out some eggs against Jinx. Here's the first move. I got another crit? I know Jinx is... Is Jinx ain't that fast, right? This is a wild one from the world. Doing pretty damn good right now. All right, here comes Victor Bell. How will the type difference affect? Rocking so many crits right now. There's the attack. Whoa! Looks like a bad Pokemon choice. Not gonna be able to do much. Razor Leaf. Well, this is Gen One. Your options for for uh, well, yeah, it's guaranteed crit with Razor Leaf because Gen One. There we go. Um, your options for grass moves are Razor Leaf and Solar Beam after you get rid of Vine Whip, right? There's not really a lot for grass in early gen. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. Solar Beam doesn't even have Sunny Day to like make it better. Use the Gloom, not the Vile Plume. The battle has become one-sided. Loom wow, freaking out after getting hit. Oh yeah, pedal dance. I forgot about that one. I guess Mega Drain exists, but its power is pretty low. I remember as a kid, I thought Mega Drain had a lot more power because it had Mega in the name. And you get it from Erica, but like it's not that great. And you can't check power in Gen 1. So. You just have to pretty much feel out all the moves, don't you? I didn't even need my legendary birds. Jinx did it again. All by herself. Green haired Erica's dead. Imposter down. Koga's gym. Koga also has green hair for some reason. Yeah, there he is, the juggler with the chin. Alright, this is probably enough for the day. So, so far, I beat four gyms, and I went through two cups at the stadium. That was fun for a three-hour session of just screwing around. But, uh, yeah, I've been streaming for over seven hours, and I need dinner. I'm starving. I'm gonna do something tomorrow. I might do a short a short stream, but then I'm gonna do another long one on Sunday. Again, I can't like go really go anywhere or uh, move around too much. So now that I'm feeling a bit better, streaming is pretty much the only thing I can do at the moment. <laughs> but today was fun. Really was a lot of fun to just go back and stream after kind of just sitting around doing nothing, recovering for a little bit. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, this is where it's going to end for YouTubes. Have a good night. Bye-bye.